So first, thank you guys for your time and thanks for allowing me to get a sneak peek into season two. Um, first, first I, I'll start with, with you, uh, Tanazin, am I saying it right? Tanazin. Tanazin. Yeah. Um, the languages, like how, I know that, that you've, you studied so many dialects for either roles or just in person, like how do you keep all of those dialects in your head and and able to you know do you do you, after you've left, left a role do you retain that dialect that you trained for for that role oh i love this question yeah i have done quite a few languages and actually it's been kind of a little bit of a forte for me um but yes and it does always stick with you these languages and so i have recordings from when i did you know some lakota comanche a long time ago that I definitely revisit uh, sometimes uh, and remember, and I, you remember those lines, um, those words and what they mean. Uh, but for Pada and for La Brea, uh, we do have a few words that are in Tongva. Um, uh, I think we will have more to come as well. So, and also Pada, her name is uh, in Tongva. And of course, a new upcoming uh, uh, leader a villainous a leader from the exiles, Tomet is also a Tongue word. Okay. Mm -hmm. TK, I, I, I want to know about your survival skills in real life. Like, if you uh, was was thrown into some time war place and you had, to, I mean, can you can you build a tent? Can you start a fire? Like, what what uh like. Like how how prepped are you for to be a survivalist? I would love to say Jamal that I would be absolutely fine, but I've got too much evidence in my life to suggest that I might not be. Um, I I moved to California about eleven years ago or ten years ago, and went camping with some friends. My first month there went up to Sequoia, and thankfully we we did survive, but we did come into contact with a bear. Um, on our trip, and I, I didn't keep my cool, um, I would say, but I, I also didn't, I didn't die, so that was kind of good. But no, honestly, I, I do think that it is an interesting thing that we are now thrown into this space in La Brea, and so, yeah, I think much like Ty, my skills would probably be more talk, talking than, uh, than, you know, actually being more hands-on, but Talking's important too. Morning. Hey. Any progress last night? No. Silas still isn't talking. He will. It's been 24 hours. If he was going to talk, he would have talked. He has to. Aldridge said Silas, he helped create these sinkholes. If anyone knows how to get Josh and Riley back from 1988, it's him. Yeah. What about Mary Beth and Lucas? Any word on them? No. No one's been able to find them. With Mary Beth's injuries, I'm getting really concerned. Yeah. And then there's Aldridge and there's Scott and Veronica. They're all missing. It's just... At least when Josh was here, I had somebody. Now, I'm all alone. If, if, you, had, <clears throat> if you had to take something back into a BC era, like, what would be, like, important items for you to, to bring there to survive? Uh, practical things, like a, a, way, a means to be warm. So, we, you know, fire starters of some description, um, good clothes, good good footwear, because we've been doing some lots of running in, in, in this era. So it's, um, you know, I, I think I'd be trying to be very practical minded about what to do, what to bring. Yeah. Good hiking shoes. <laughs> good hiking shoes. <laughs> And so is it um I know that you're that that you have Latino and indigenous um uh heritage, but how how does it feel to see like representation? And I, I see there's a lot more uh shows and films that's given um either uh you know first uh Americans, Native Americans um bigger roles or bigger stories. How does it feel just to see like representation to have a sto stories that's like flushed out for those characters and what are you talking about reser uh reser rod was it reservation dogs or, or or any of these shows that's that's showing these 
these characters now like and it's not like a, a thing it doesn't feel like it's just like a giveaway you know right it's about time we're, we're really really ready for it and we're having a really good year as native people um having such great roles and such great um storylines that are finally written for the native community and uh la brea is no exception with pata this is a you know a banner a banner year for us and also um for for pata it's you know for myself and for to play pata is such a an honor but also i'm just extremely happy that this whole year has happened for for all of us yeah well i love the story i, I i'm trying to figure out what's going to happen because you you know it's like when you think of you know when when they came to america you think of like how how this relationship is with her and them and like is are they gonna just mess them over and i hope i'm hoping that you know that everybody comes out on top i can't wait to see the rest of the season i can't wait till everybody gets to see it also and thank you guys for your time thank Thanks, you Jamal. thank you